hi guys how are you this is lois welcome back to my channel i hope you're well and safe wherever you are today i'm here to talk about really important changes it may not be the best news for a few people but it's going to be a lot of good news to a lot of you uh, because it pertains to the canadian express entry and uh, yeah so there has been about 16 occupations that have been added into the express entry and i'll talk a little bit about that just so that you understand who qualifies to get into the express entry which programs are uh, processed through the express entry and there's also three occupations that have been kicked out of the express entry so you want to stay here and stick with me through the end of uh, to the end of this uh, video just so that you understand whether you are among the lucky people or whether you've been affected in one way or another so guys have you subscribed if you have subscribed thank you thank you thank you very much if you haven't subscribed please do so like and share and support me as I educate masses you know I've helped a lot of people through the free education that I bring on this channel so I truly hope that you appreciate this if you need uh, help with your immigration programs applications you want a second opinion you want clarity of mind because there's a lot of information out there there's a lot of noise out there you know you know especially with this social media uh, era you know there's so much information but then it gets to you and you get so confused because Canada has so many programs and you don't know exactly where you fit and you end up wasting time and losing money here and there you know time is money when it comes to immigration you do not want to be wasting any more time doing the wrong things if you need that clarity of mind please talk to me I book a consultation on our website www.milalaimmigrationservices.ca and I will meet you one on one we go through your profile and I'll tell you this is what I would advise for you professionally that is the professional opinion that I give on consultation basis otherwise everything here is not legal uh, uh, advice this is not professional you know you should, you should not take it as legal advice here if you need legal legal advice please head on to my uh, website and book a consultation with me. I'll be happy to meet with you. Now, hey guys, do you know when is today? Today is 16th of November. This is the day that I talked about. And you know, I did a video the other day that was talking about uh, the new tier system because the NOCs have been replaced by the tier system. And of course, as I told you, there's gonna be a lot of changes, you know, with the express entry, the way express entry works, who qualifies and, and who doesn't qualify. So uh, with the change from the NOC to the tier system, there has been about 16 occupations that are now welcome to apply through the express entry. These are occupations that could not apply before because they were not meeting the threshold for express entry. And we're gonna see what that means. Um, what does this mean? It means like, especially for federal skilled worker classes, they were not meeting the NOC, the NOCB, which is a minimum that could apply into the express entry. But now guess what? Uh, these occupations have been promoted to uh, what was previously NOCB, which is currently tier three and four. Okay, anyway, uh, I do not want to confuse you guys. I'm going to do individual videos, small videos that are palatable, that are easy to understand. I'm going to lay it down for you, especially for each program. But for today, we're going to talk about these uh, uh, occupations. Okay, guys, <laughs> so you know that uh, with the transition to the NOC 2021, 16 occupations have now become eligible for express entry and three have become ineligible. Um, you know, those ones who have become ineligible, just I want to mention that it doesn't mean that you cannot apply through the provincial nomination programs. You just cannot apply through the express entry because now you are not meeting the tier three uh, cutoff. Okay, guys? All right. So who are the lucky guys? The 16 lucky guys who previously could not have seen the eyes of express entry. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Payroll administrators. That is, and I'm gonna say tier now, guys. Come on, you know, we gotta adopt. <laughs> and now, so I'm gonna be talking of tiers, not NOCs anymore. So it's tier uh, 13102, that is payroll administrators. The other one is 33100, dental assistants and dental lab assistants. 
uh, 33102. Nurse Aid. Oh my God, I have my Nurse Aid. Nurse Aid, Order Lies, and Patient Service Associates. You know, all you guys, uh, the only way that you could come here was either through provincial nomination programs or recruitment programs or either, you know, foreign worker programs. But now, this program now uplifts you into the express entry, okay? The other one is 33103, Pharmacy Technical Assistant and Pharmacy Assistants. Where are you guys? Talk to me, okay? The other guys who've been promoted, that is 4311 elementary and secondary school teacher assistants. Uh, guess who has come on board? 43200 uh, sheriffs and bailiffs. Then the other guys, 43201 uh, correctional service officers. Yes, then 43202 by law enforcement and other regulatory uh, officers. Then there's 63211 and that is estheticians Est, eh, yeah, estheticians, uh, electrologists, and related occupations. Then there is 73200, residential and commercial installers and services. And then there is 73202, pest control and fumigators. And then there is 73209, other repairers and services. And I know this one looks, sounds so vague. And I just want to elaborate a little bit on this. So these guys include bicycle repairers come on guys and uh, not just bicycle repairers i mean uh, bicycles piano sewing machines uh cameras vending machine repairers all those people who repair stuff they're gonna be fitting in this category so now it's your turn guys okay and then the long awaited i know truck drivers you've been harassing me anyway you're welcome to do so you've been asking me lois you said truck drivers are getting promoted into the express entry here is your chance and your new noc is 73300 that is track a transport truck drivers okay guys and please I have to say this these guys they are the real truck drivers you know not just any lorry you know and then <laughs> you must have the right licenses and usually i do a lot of our recruitment for truck drivers so if you're interested if you're a truck driver uh, you may want to reach out to me and uh, I can tell you other ways that you can come to Canada. And I'm going to mention something at the end of this video just so that you understand why I'm still saying you see me separately uh, as far as this is concerned. Uh, that is if it concerns you, okay? And then the other guy is 73400 uh, heavy equipment operators. And then we have 73400. Uh, 301 bus drivers where are you subway operators where are you and the other transport operators okay or other transit operators and then last but not least it's um seven three four hundred heavy equipment operators and actually i lied that was not the last but not the least so here are the last guys nine three two hundred uh aircraft assemblers and aircraft assembly inspectors okay guys 16 occupations new ones okay now there are three occupations that are previously eligible unfortunately they will not be eligible because they are now uh, classified as tier 4 which is what we had previously as skill set uh, level skill C which could not make it into the express entry sorry guys who are you? <laughs> 55109. And these guys are called other performers. Guess who other performers are? Influencers. You know, all of us YouTubers. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm yet an influencer. I don't know. I don't know. Some people say I'm an influencer. Others. I don't know. I don't even know. I just know I'm a professional and I'm an immigration professional about influencing. I've, I've still not yet mastered that art. But anyway, influencers, magicians, uh, face painters, uh, bastards, fashion models, and other models, DJs, ETC, they will now not be able to apply through the express entry. Sorry, guys. Uh, then the other one is 54100, and that is program leaders and instructors in recreation, sports, and fitness. I know all oh, you fitness gurus, unfortunately, you will no longer be able to apply uh, through uh, the express entry. And the last one is 64200, and that is tailors, 
dressmakers, uh, farriers, and milliners. Okay? Now, you want to listen to what I will say here. I had already done a video that was showing you exactly how to locate your tier because you really need to locate your tier like today 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 because today is when this law comes into effect november 16 you wanna know today do not sleep without understanding your tier my friend so that you know whether you are fitting in the tiers that are gonna go through the express entry or outside the express entry if you don't go through the express entry, that doesn't mean that you don't have hopes in immigration. My friend, there's lots and lots of other programs out there. Canada has over 60 programs right now. So there's a lot of provincial nomination programs that don't necessarily go through the express entry. And I'm asking you, please check whether you fit into any of those. Of course, I've said, if you want me to check for you, if you want me to tell you how or the best pathway for you to come to Canada, please book a consultation on our website anyway. Anyway, now, hey, now, one thing I'll mention, you realize, and especially about these occupations that have been promoted, okay? These occupations that have been promoted, and I want you to watch the video that I'll do next about the federal skilled worker class, because most of you are going to fall under that, or the federal skilled trades class, because then the other group will fall under that. Now, this is what I want you to understand. Getting into the express entry is not just because your occupation can go through the express entry doesn't mean that you will qualify to get into the express entry. Because first you must get the initial 67 points that let you get into the express entry, my friend. And that's what you are aiming at. You want to make sure that you get that 67 points. But how do you get that 67 points? If you don't know how to count that, talk to me again. Now, you realize that to get those 67 points, you still have to fit a certain age criteria. Not just that, a certain education criteria, the five main factors that we consider are age, education, work experience, languages, and adaptability, okay? So, the biggest issue with some of these occupations, and I'll mention some of them, especially the nurse aides, you know, the patient service uh, associates, tra transport truck drivers, majority of these people and especially from africa i'll say from things i like talking about things i understand i'm from kenya so i know that there's that issue whereby a lot of transit or transport truck drivers they don't have degrees or even three-year diplomas if you don't have at least a three-year diploma or a degree it's still going to be very hard for you to get into the express entry Notwithstanding the fact that your occupation now can go into the express entry, but you still have to meet the education requirement. And as much as a truck transit a transport driver doesn't need a degree, for you to meet the 67 points, you most likely will need a degree or at least a three-year diploma. And that's why I want to talk to these people uh, that usually as much as you've been uh, promoted, you will not meet the education uh, requirements. My friend, do not give up, okay? Do not give up. Express entry is not the only way. At least there are some of you who are already nurses, who have education, but then they veered off into these occupations for one reason or another. Then they'll fit into the express entry. If you don't fit in the express entry, provincial nomination programs are what you should be focusing on. Okay, and we still have very good provinces that are recruiting. We have uh, New Brunswick, you know, we have um, uh, Saskatchewan, we have Manitoba, all those, uh, and a few other provinces here whereby you can still do expressions of interest and your occupation still remain in demand in those provinces. If you need help, my friends, talk to me. Talking to me, please. I get so many requests, my friend. I have to tell you this. I have so many requests. Um, emails come in through. Uh, the only way I can prioritize is if you book a consultation. So please head on to my website and book that consultation. And I'll be happy to meet with you guys. Okay. Bye now. And I'll see you in my next video.